ladies, welcome back to my channel. So happy Monday. I'm very excited that we're here beginning the week together. We're gonna to be doing something a little off the grid today. I want to push your range when it comes to makeup. And of course, you know I love my graphic t-shirts, so good times ahead. That's what we wanna concentrate on, ladies. Good times ahead with our aging, good times ahead with our makeup or our career or our week, our wellness. And this is something that I wanted to talk to you about, a beauty tool that I invested in that I should have invested in a long time ago. As a licensed esthetician, I know about lymphatic drainage and also lymphatic drainage with massage and how beneficial it is. So when I have been editing really late at night for hours and hours at a time, ladies, it's not a very fast process when I'm editing my videos. Um, and a lot of people are surprised that I edit my own videos. I film my own videos. I edit my own videos. And it's something that I really love on a creative level. But what I don't love is feeling like all of the blood pooling in my legs because I don't wear my eye watch as much anymore. So it's never telling my watch now doesn't tell me, OK, time to get up, time to walk around. So I feel like a lot, a lot of this pooling and like uh, sometimes numbness in my feet and just heaviness. So I invested in a lymphatic tool. It's like a paddle. This is from De La Heart. So I bought it a couple weeks ago and I use it with, I went to Whole Foods and I just got, of course, a, a oil that's rose. This is from Well, well Leda. This is a German oil. It's a German company, but this is a rose oil that smells delightful. You know, I'm obsessed with anything rose, so that was my first choice. And I use this to really move the lymph through my system. Now, I'm going to tell you about lymph is really basically like the detoxifying system in the body, moving the fluids. I want to tell you because I just wanted to kind of list all of the benefits from lymphatic drainage. So if you have edema, if you have swelling, this is a really great um, thing to be using. Fibromyalgia, swelling or edema, which I just said. Skin disorders, fatigue, insomnia, stress, digestive problems, arthritis, migraine episodes. So this feels so incredible on my lower legs in the back. And I watched a YouTube video on just how she, from this company, shows you how to use this tool. It feels so good. This is made out of pine. So it is really a very smooth, just really a nice methodical way to kind of wind down your evening or in the morning. So I'll do some dry brushing first, and, and then I will douse myself with my rose oil, and then I will use this on my body from my arms, everything going towards the heart, towards the lymph system, in in the groin area, in the armpit area. So this is something that I would suggest, of course, check with your doctor first before you start any kind of lymph moving anything around. But I thought that this was a great tool to really help with my wellness, help with the stagnant blood, basically just sitting so long and it's really not healthy. And so I've been really, really on this wellness kind of concentrating much more since March 2020 to now. And, and I've seen such a difference with so many different things that I've implemented um, and kind of just like slowing down and really listening to my body and really seeing what's going on. So this is wonderful. I'll link hers below. Um, this is not sponsored. I bought that myself. It's not an affiliate link. I wanted you just to have some information on helping your body feel better and moving things through your body. And if you're really interested in learning about lymphatic drainage, I'll put another link below just so you can really get up to speed on what the benefits are for you. So today, get excited ladies, because this makeup tutorial is going to be off the grid. I am using a palette called Off the Grid, matte palette, grays. So this is kind of, you know, kind of a rock star-ish, if you will. Do a nice wash of color or you can go for it and make it nice and smoky in the gray family so you can go as light or as dark you know i always say that and i'm going to take this off so i can really get into the off the grid with you so we're going to go in first with prepping the skin i start off always with my ever biomedic peel pad this is going to be a nice exfoliation for my skin kind of gives me that boost in the morning of brightness, of looking like my skin is refreshed. So it's a little exfoliant for me. I use it on a daily basis. It's great also for sensitive skin, but you might want to do every other day or maybe every third day, depending on and work your way up. Then from there, I'm going to go in with something a little bit different. I love this 
uh, I love this moisturizer. It's the Moisture Injection Cream. It's a little bit heavier. We do have an oil-free one. Um, this is also from Ever. And it is so beautiful. It is very, very in invigorating with the aroma, I think. I love how it smells, but I just do a little bit when I need that extra moisture in my skin. But it's not, even though this is a heavier cream, it's not too heavy. I really want to prepare my skin for my makeup. Remember, that is your first way to really get your makeup looking beautiful. If you don't have prepared skin, it's not hydrated and it's not plump and it's not looking its best, your makeup's never gonna look good. It doesn't matter what you put on your, your, your skin. And we want to, as we age, less is more. We wanna use less concealer, BB cream, et cetera. So if you really work hard on your skin, exfoliating, cleansing, moisturizing, protecting with SPF, you're going to really see a difference. So I'm gonna go in with my La Roche-Posay. This is my mineral SPF 50, nice light serum. I'm gonna just put that on over my moisturizer. I always take the excess of the sunscreen I put on the back of my hand and I rub them together. So I always am protecting my hands because I see they love to have a little um, pigmentation from driving and being here in this Florida sun. So what I'm gonna do now is just take a little bit of my Revive, my intensive eye lift. This is a really wonderful eye cream because it's hydrating. It is more of a gel. So it really nicely goes into the skin. So it rapidly absorbs and it doesn't sit there and sit on the skin, ball up when I put on any concealers. So that is what you want to avoid is wor working with too heavy of an, an eye cream so it doesn't it just sits there never dries and then you go to put on your concealer or you go on to put foundation or what have you and then you start seeing it just like rolling off your face it's not a good look i'm going to just spritz my skin because i feel like i need a little boost with my caudalie this is my beauty elixir just kind of sets the mood of kind of getting in the good things ahead good vibes ahead good times ahead now that my sunscreen is on, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Fiercely Smooth in Tint. This is a tinted, it, uh, it comes out really dark, it's really funny, and it goes on beautifully. You don't, even, you don't even notice that it is, look at this color, look. You would definitely freak out when you put this on if you didn't know, and then look how beautiful it goes into the skin. So this is going to fill any fine lines and wrinkles for me. I have a little texture in this area that I like to smooth out first. My T-zone, I have talked about having these little oil glands that have popped up. I am thinking about getting them zapped so I don't keep having them come. My mom has them also. So we were just talking that it's hereditary. She's like, prepare yourself. You better, when they start popping up, you better get them zapped to the dermatologist. And I said, oh, great, thank you for that wonderful pass on. I'm gonna go first in with my eye and lip primer. I always do my eyes first. I do not touch the skin until after I do the eyes, because I, if I have any fallout, what have you, I don't have to worry. Everything is going to be whisked away, but I don't have beautiful, flawless skin, and I'm working with a darker color, and then I have to clean up and then put the concealer back over. I just never, I just never have done my makeup like that for over 20 years. This is the way I do it. It makes much more sense to me to first do the eyes, then go back in with a beautiful canvas of your face, whether you're just doing spot treating with concealer or not. I just always leave the face for last. So we're gonna go in with Off The Grid and I'm gonna be using all three shades. They're matte, they're beautiful. Starting with the middle color, I'm gonna just take my Essential Makeup Brush Kit. I actually use this, this the top of it, to hold other brushes and my brightener, etc. But this is my essential makeup brush kit that I designed for you. I have nine for 2021, nine beautiful 100% vegan brushes. And they're just the brushes you need. I, I saw that in my makeup classes, that was such a need for the ladies coming in. They had so many different brushes. They were all different lengths and it was just too much. They were too big, too small. So I just designed nine brushes to make it simple, to make it easy, to make it affordable and they last. So this is a, just a, such a wonderful tool. So I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the product. So I'm gonna show this to you again. 
I take the flat side of the brush and I go like this, right? I pick it up tapping into the product. I don't go like this. I don't tap, tap, tap like this because where are you putting the product? On the tip of the brush and then you, you're never going to get a really beautiful application if you're doing or you're picking up your eyeshadow like that. So I go in, this is how I would like you to do it, is going in flat, pick up enough product so you have enough product that's going to deposit on the eye. You're not going to just have tips and then not really have enough, then you go back into it and then you have too much. Okay, so we're going to just go with the flat side and I like to start in the middle because I want to see how much product that I really want to apply. This is beautiful. This is very silky. This is a really beautiful palette, even though it's darker and you might have already said, oh, not for me. I wouldn't do that. What have you? You never know. You never know how you, maybe one day you feel like, you know what? I feel like being off the grid. I feel like being a little edgy. I feel like doing something a little bit different for myself. I can do a light wash. I can still be in those darker gray colors, but I can do a light wash or I can say, you know what? I'm going to be watching Netflix tonight. No one's here. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to, I'm going to really spice up my eyes. And that's what's so fun about color ladies. And that's so much fun about experimenting. So don't put yourself in a box and say, oh my gosh, I would never do that palette. I could just never do it. It's not my colors. Do you, have you ever tried it? Do you even know? I put this palette on sale just because I wanted you to be able to say, okay, it's on sale. I'm going to try it. I'm going to, I'm going to go outside my box. I'm going to go off the grid. So I like to just give a nice wash of color here. I like to just go from the base of the lash up to about the middle of my lid here. You'll see that, right? I'm not going all, all the way up top because I'm going to take off any extra on the brush and then I'm going to just use what I have to really move that product up into the crease area here. So I have just the middle color on here. I just have a beautiful wash of color, right? Just a really pretty, I could go really deep if I wanted to. I could really, really go for it, but you know what? I wanna show you how you can take a dark color like this and just give yourself a wash of color. So now I'm going to go in with more of my tapered brush. It's almost like a little pencil, so it's going to be more precise. Going into the deepest color here, you can also wet this color, the darkest color, and you can use it as a liner if you wanted to. So I'm going to just take a little bit, again, I'm just rolling my brush on both sides because I want this to be, we're going to go into that crease. I'm going to just load up the brush make sure i don't have too much because it is a dark color highly pigmented you're going to be surprised if you're used to working with dark colors that really don't have any payoff that's um one of my pet peeves where you go into a palette i've been testing so many palettes lately and i'm like there is no color there is nothing coming i just spent 54 dollars on this five well palette and there's no color. So when you have these three, well, these are highly pigmented and that's what I wanted for you, but you have to be careful because you're used to swirling around and really not getting any color and then you go for it and you'll be so very surprised. So here I am at the very end. Remember nothing's on my eye so I can really take it out as far as I want because I'm going to clean up with my, my all my pad. So we're going here to the end and I'm going to go right into this crease. I want it to be really nice and soft. I want everything to kind of marry together. Take off anything else on the brush right now and I'm going to work it in. What's really important ladies is that when you're working with say a little bit of a darker palette like this, you're going to want to really blend. You can't over blend. So basically I'm just blending these colors together. You can see this is a little bit darker than my lid color. But what's really nice though is that these are matte so you don't have to really worry like oh my gosh it's too much shine or too much sheen what have you you're just going in giving a little depth giving a little bit something different on your eye take it down underneath if you want to what's left over just to kind of give you a little bit more of a balance and then go over to the other eye and do the same thing now that I have two beautiful colors on my eyes, I'm gonna just go into the lightest color, the bone color, and just do a little highlight right underneath just to bring everything together. 
And if you feel like you went a little too high with your contour, this can really just blend it all out. So I don't want you to feel like you're gonna make any mistakes. You can go as light or as dark as you want. You can get a nice, beautiful wash of color. Again, look at the look at the palette. See how you would first say, oh, it's too dark or those aren't my colors. But then you can move it into a very light wash, something that just looks a little bit different. It's different. It's not your typical palette. You're not in your cocoa colors. You're not in your lighter colors. You're doing something a little bit different. This might be a special look for you. It might be a look where you're just practicing and you're saying, you know what? I can do this. Wow, this is really, really neat. I pushed myself out of my box. So I'm going to go in with my charcoal waterproof eyeliner. I think this is a really beautiful color to use when you're using grays. And I'm going to first I'm going to use my eyelash curler. I'm going to first use my eyelash curler because I've talked to you about before. If I did my eyeliner first and I then go and curl my lashes, I always move my liner around. I want it to stay perfect and beautiful and I'm going to smoke it out a little bit. Or you can go in and use your heated eyelash curler. You can do both. Um, I actually left this on in my last tutorial, so I can't use it today because I need to change the battery. So going in with my waterproof charcoal eyeliner, super creamy and smooth. This is going to go right to the base of my lashes and it's going to go right in between my lashes also. So I am not adding a lot of weight. I'm not adding a lot of heaviness. This is what's really important about finding a creamy eyeliner. It's not going to drag across your delicate eye area. When we're aging, that's the last thing that we want to do is taking a hard pencil and doing our eyeliner and feeling it and feeling that irritation. So you want something that's nice and creamy that's going to just glide beautifully like this, deposit enough color so you're not working hard. That's why I really spend a lot of time with my, my colors and the pigments and the formulations because it's not going to be something you're working real. I don't see it. Oh my gosh, when is it going to, color is going to pop up. So this is going to, I mean, you can see, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm just dragging this across and I'm getting a really beautiful payout of this beautiful charcoal. And I picked charcoal because I didn't want it to be black. I didn't want it to be too much. This is a day look for me. I just wanted to have something a little bit different, a little bit, you know, outside of the, off the grid as, as, we, as our whole theme is, is named today. Now, if you feel that you have not the perfect line, you know I talk about this all the time, ladies. If you don't feel like you have a perfect line, take a smudge brush, a dense, short brush, and you can just drag this across and smoke up the liner. So if you feel like, oh, I have shaky hands, I can't see that well, you can go back and forth like this, at least with my waterproof eyeliners, you can do this because it's not going to make it disappear and it's not going to make it go all over the place. It really stays where it is because it's waterproof. So you want it to just be a little bit, maybe underneath you're like, ah, oh, looks a little stark. I just want it to be softer. You can just easily, I call it my eraser brush, easily just go back and smooth out any lines, any imperfections and get a very soft look. I'm going to go in with my Almay pad and just clean up anything that maybe fell down on the sides here. Easy, easy make it everything go up. So that's why I love doing that at the end because there's nothing that's gonna be outside of where it should be. Now I'm gonna go in with some beautiful mascara, going to the base of the lashes. You know that I love getting to the base and pulling straight up. So I'm depositing most of the mascara at the base and then I'm going to the tips. I really want a beautiful look, but I don't wanna pile up mascara on the tips. Also, I've seen a lot of ladies in my classes that they just take the mascara wand and they go like this, just tips, just tips like this. That's never going to give you that beautiful lashes. You're missing out, ladies. You have to go to the base and go to the tips. And this is really important. So say you just wear mascara. You're like, oh, I'm not really a makeup girl. I just want to wear mascara and I do a gloss. You want to have base to the tips. And another thing, ladies, is that maybe you want to mix up using two mascaras. Maybe you use a volumizing and then you use a curling or you use different formulations. You can do that. So you might want to do your first coat with volumizing. Maybe the second coat you do lengthening. A lot of them obviously now 
like mine are a dual, but you can do different formulations. You might find something that really works well for you and you really like that. Maybe you use brown on the bottom and you use black on the top or vice versa. There's so many different things. Don't look at mascara as, oh, there's just one mascara for me. There are so many mascaras that you can use that you can really get creative and create your signature look for your lashes. Now it's all gonna come together, ladies. I know that my eyes look a little bit darker, but that's because I have nothing on my face. So we're gonna go and we're going to perfect the skin. I really, this morning, I really need to be concealing and brightening and getting my skin looking gorgeous. So I have a couple different options I always do in the morning and I'm always like, should I do that concealer? Should I do just peachy to help with, or do I need my no redness? Um, so I always look at my skin in the morning and say, what do I need? Cause it's different every single day. So I think that I'm gonna go in with a little just peachy and this is my beauty stick medium to full coverage, which is nice because some days I just need a little, some days I'm like, you know what? We're really gonna go for it. So I just take it from the tube and I just put a little underneath. I need this, I need this corrector. I need to correct the under eyes. Um, I want them to be brighter. So I just basically do the same thing I do with, if it was a concealer or my eye brightener, I like to layer because as we age, you know that we need to do a little bit of a combo. So I'm just using this underneath my eye area. It goes on really beautifully because I put the Fiercely Smooth on. So I feel like nothing grabs my skin. It just looks really nice. It's gonna brighten up this area as you can see. Really pretty. Bring it up into this inner corner where we do get that shadowing from the nose, bringing it down. Same thing on this side. Now that I have on my Just Peachy, I'm gonna take my BB cream and I'm gonna use light and I'm gonna use fair. This is my combo. You've seen me do this in a lot of my videos. I just, the fair is a cool undertone and the light is a warm. So I mix the two together to give me a really beautiful, nice look. It's very forgiving because it's a BB cream. It's not a foundation. So I don't have to match my shade exactly. And what I really love is that this feels like I took it out of the refrigerator. It is a cool burst of hydration to my face. Chamomile, it has ginseng, it has aloe vera in it. This is wonderful for mature skin because it is going to hydrate your skin. I'm gonna add a little warmth to my skin. It does have titanium dioxide in it. Um, it's just, just such a really pretty color or formulation because you're gonna see your skin through. And that's what I really like. As we age, I don't wanna cover up my skin. I think that I, I look older when I do that. I want to buff this into my skin using a buffing brush. This is my foundation buffing brush and it feels great. It feels really good on my skin. I'm just using it, I'll bring it down and I just really complete my look with this BB cream. It's just very hydrated. You can see my skin looks healthy. It looks alive now. This is a little bit different. I'm gonna go back in with my eye brightener. It's like a touch-up veil. I just want, some days I'm like, you know what? We need to do a little extra on the eye area, Nicole. So underneath here, I'm just gonna take my, just in this little area here. I just feel like sometimes it gets a little bit darker and I'm gonna just take the same brush, my buffing brush, and I'm just gonna really work that in so I have this nice highlight. I want it to be as bright as possible, but yet still, because it's a light formulation, not looking like I just piled on the makeup. Going in to just set with my Nikita Banana, it's a color correcting uh, press powder. You can see the theme here, right? Uh, going in with brightening and we're going in with more brightening and we're gonna just do a little bit more brightening <laughs> because that's what it's all about, ladies, when you are aging. It's about making your skin look just beautiful and bright and we always wanting to look on the bright side of course, that is the theme, the motto. Going in with a little ageless. I want to just, I love pinks and grays together. So I want to have a little, sometimes I'll just sweep them across depending on my mood, or I'll just use one today. I'm going to just use these two um, in the front here. Uh, these two colors, mix them together. I always like kind of tap off a little bit just to make sure I'm not going to get too much. Starting on my cheekbone, lifting up. Really want to 
I like to buff. So that's my like keyword for everything. <laughs> I like buffing into my skin. So I like to use round little motions like this. So I'm getting it on my skin. Again, not sweeping back, not a streak. We want to go in and really make this look beautiful. If you feel like you have too much, just go back with a powder and go over. You can always blend it in. Don't worry. And remember too, you want to have a little bit more blush when you start out your day because it is going to definitely break down with your oils, with your face, with your, maybe you live in a warm climate like myself and it definitely by 12, you're like, well, wait a second. I put blush on today. Where did it go? So I always start off with a little bit more than less because I see how it works with my skin during the day. And um, I'll just do a little just a little over of just the Nikita banana, just to soften it a little bit. Also, it sets my, my uh, cheeks when I do that. So let's go into my favorite lips. I picked out Glacier Pink as my lip liner. You could also use Silk, which is a lot lighter. I'm gonna be using Glacier Pink and I'm gonna be using Pretty Smart. So pretty, just soft, really nice pink. Those are my little combo today. Eye gloss, pretty smart. So pretty, it's just very light. It's actually one of our most popular pinks because it's very soft and very wearable for day or evening. And then of course, where is my Rosé Zay? This was named after my little French bulldog rosé champagne. She is a red Frenchie, so it worked out perfect. So I'm going to just take a little bit of rosé and go over for a little gloss. And last but not least, ladies, I'm still dealing with my gray eyebrow. Still there. I think he's there for forever. So I work with him and I use a little brow fix. I'm going to use this in cocoa and I'm going to just coat over, gloss my brows, bring them up, but also at the same time he gets to be covered. So it's a win-win. My brows get to be nicely groomed and up and then he gets to be covered with a little beautiful soft cocoa color. And we have clear in this also, so you don't have to actually have a color. We have blonde, we have dark brunette, we have brunette. So you have a lot of different choices that you can choose from if you want to, if you have gray brows like me, or you maybe have blonde brows, or you wanna see your brows more. So this is the off the grid, where I'm taking you on a little journey. Uh, you know, it's so funny, when I think about um, off the grid, I really, I really envision like a dirt road with all the gravel and kind of, you know, I, I don't know, I, I, see, I see Harley Davidson's, I see really cool like, off the grid fashion when it comes to this whole like desert feel. I don't know. It's like really is this is what I'm thinking when I think about off the grid because it's different. It's fun. And it's like, oh, you know what? I want to try that. Or I want to I want to go down that road and see what it's like. And, you know, so maybe it could be bumpy for you. Maybe it's out of your comfort zone. And I think that's great, ladies. I think it's great to just push yourself. Why do the same thing over and over again, right? You can have your classic look. Oh, yes, this is my go-to. This is what I wear. I feel really confident, what have you. But what about the times where you're like, you know what? I'm 65 now. My birthday's coming up. I'm 72. Or I'm the, I want to try something different. Why not try colors that you probably wouldn't try? There's nothing in, listen, there's nothing wrong with it. And then if you say, you know what, it's not for me, but at least you know, you went down the path, you went off the grid. You said, you know what, I wanna, I wanna try that out. I'm gonna do it and I'm going to say good times ahead. There's good times ahead whether I'm playing with my own colors or I'm experimenting with unknown colors. And that's really my wish for you is makeup's fun. Makeup's fun, ladies. It's not, you know, it's, it's not a serious thing. I have so much fun creating with you and pushing you outside of your comfort zone and showing you different looks. And if it's not for you, the next video might be for you. Or you might pick up a couple tips in this video that you're oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Or I can put the eye brightener over my BB cream. I didn't know I could do that afterwards. So there's a lot of things that you can do with your makeup. I want you to feel that it's an open road. It's an open road for you, whether there's gravel, whether it's smooth, whatnot, when it comes to makeup, your beauty, aging, 
because you're in the driver's seat and I say that all the time. You make the decisions about your beauty. You make the decisions about what colors you choose for you. If you wear a gloss, if you wear a lipstick, if you wear a BB cream, if you wear a foundation. So I'm here as a vehicle just to help you, just to encourage you, to inspire you for women that are over 40, 50, 60s, 70s, 80s. Listen, Henrietta was 101. Well, I got up too early this morning. I know, that was that's your granddaughter's fault. No, she got up early. I could than sleep till 11 o'clock. Well, you know what? It's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it to be beautiful and share with all these women. You're gonna inspire all these women. <laughs> You're, you're gorgeous and 101. I'm gonna be 102 in two months. Can you believe that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you excited about that? No. <laughs> Just another day. She's now 103. And I aspire to be someone like her that swims every day, that lives on her own. I mean, that's incredible. That's what we should really look for. Good times ahead. That is exactly what's in store for us, ladies. So I hope you have a great beginning of your week. Happy Monday again, and until my next video, I'll see you later.